While everybody's getting the Samsung S23s, well, I went a different route and got the OnePlus 11. Gadgeteers. What's up, Gadgeteers? My name is Hector and this is Gadgetbeard. And on this channel, I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets, and accessories for you. And in today's video, we have the OnePlus 11 in the house. Big shout out to them for sending this out to review. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So this is your typical OnePlus packaging, the big red box. You got the number 11 embroidered right there. Not embroidered, embossed on the top left corner. Big 11 right there, letting you know that it is the OnePlus 11 in partnership with Hasselblad cameras or lenses or whatever they want to say. Uh, they are in partnership, as you can see right there, OnePlus plus Hasselblad. Uh, on the side, OnePlus 11 5G. On the top, nothing. On the side, same thing. And on the back, a little bit of specs. But I'll get into the specs right now. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we get when we purchase the OnePlus 11. You're going to get their never settled right smack down on the middle right there. Now, usually they come with a case. I don't know if they provided a case for us this time around. Let's go and see if they did or they did not. And I'm having difficulties here. What? Something's stuck in there. Well, anyways, it oh, there we go. <laughs> it does not look like they provided they provided a case. You get your quick guides, your welcome safety guides, and you do get some OnePlus 11 stickers, and you do get a adapter, a USB to Type C adapter if you want to do some data transfers or anything of that sort. At least it did provide that. So no case this time around. Let's see what else is given to us when we purchase the one plus 11 so you have the phone itself let's go ahead and put that aside for a minute and you have look at that a charging brick so you do get the fast charging brick here and i believe this is like super super fast it's 80 watt charging brick so this thing is going to give you some very very fast charging speeds and you do get their iconic red cable which is usb to type c which is absolutely fantastic and it's pretty long itself so you can see the length of that cable so that is all we get in the box so without further ado let's take a look at the star itself the OnePlus 11, bam, let's see. Look at this bad boy. Now there is two colors they do offer. Uh, this is their Eternal Green. Looks very, very nice. And they do have a Titan Black color they offer as well. Let me put that aside. But looks very, very good. A little switch up from last year's square camera module. This one has a more circular camera module. You got four, three cameras actually. You got three cameras and the flash there looks very good. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the cameras module. The little circular thing going on. Do you guys like it? Do you guys don't like it? Let me know down in the comment section below. But right off the back, first initial impressions, it looks a, like a very nice elegant premium phone there. I like the shiny bezels here around the phone with that shiny shiny glass That green looks absolutely fantastic that eternal green I can see why they call it eternal green because when you look at it it almost like drives you in like it almost captivates you and it looks like it goes on forever. I really like this color. I would have loved it matte though, but it looks very, very good. So on the right side of the phone, we do have the mute slider. It's back again, the mute slider. Most more Android phones should implement this feature. Uh, I absolutely love to just have a dedicated mute slider button. You got the power button on the side. On the left side of the phone, you got a volume rocker there. On the top, you have two mics. On there on top and on the bottom you have mic speaker 
type C charging port and your SIM tray right there at the bottom. There's no additional expansion for memory. So it's just a SIM tray. There's not going to be any other addition or added capability to expand on storage. Uh, you do get a built-in screen protector, which is good to see from them. So you got a nice built-in screen protector. So you don't have to go ahead and buy one right out the back. You already have one provided for you here. Uh, other than that, it looks very, very good. So let me power up this device and set it up. And then we can run through the OS and give you my first initial impressions of what the OS itself and what the experience feels like. I'll run through the specs while we do that. So let me go ahead and power this bad boy up and set it up. All right, we're back and we set this bad boy up. Excuse my voice, I'm recovering from being sick over the weekend. Uh, so if I sound a little off or a little weird, that's why, or, or I'm probably heavy medicated. <laughs> medicated or what did I say I see it I don't even know what I said enough of that let's go ahead uh, so let me show you how fast the fingerprint reader is so look at how fast this bad boy is even with the screen off it, reg it reads it BAM fantastic in display fingerprint reader uh, it's super fast super snappy works with the screen off you just go touch it and it's gonna unlock your device so that's one of the good things that I am impressed about this so what we're looking up front is a gorilla glass Victus front uh, is the back is also gorilla glass 5 and it has a metal frame around obviously the front display is a 6.7 inch super fluid AMOLED display 140 by 3126 pixels QHD plus resolution 120 adaptive refresh rate from 1 to 120 uh, it is 525 PPI and it's a 20 by 1 by 9 aspect ratio so very very nice good looking display the 120 Hertz obviously is gonna make it look very very fluid nothing wrong with that powering this bad boy we do have the snapdragon 8 gen 2 so you know this bad boy is gonna be a beast it's gonna absolutely fly so you do get two variants of this phone you get a 8 gigabyte variant and a 16 gigabyte variant the 8 gigabyte variant comes with 128 gigs of storage and the 16 gig comes with 256 gigabytes of storage so as I mentioned no SD card slots you're not going to be able to expand your storage with that looking at the back you have your three cameras you have your primary sensor at 50 megapixel f 1.8 you have your ultra wide 48 megapixel with 115 degrees field of view at f 2.2 and you get your telephoto 32 megapixel at f2.0 the front camera is going to be a 16 megapixel coming in at f2.45 it doesn't get better than that let's take a look at that camera right there and it's located on the top left corner of the display as you can see it is not on the middle of the display would have liked to see it in the middle you know it makes it a little bit more uniformed uh, but on the left side, it's okay for security. Look at that. Boom your fingerprint reader there You do have an in-display fingerprint reader like I mentioned earlier and it's super fast and super accurate and you do have face recognition as well Besides your normal pin and password to get into your smartphone, but the fingerprint reader absolutely fast as hell boy connectivity obviously is going to be 5g you know everybody has 5g you know it, you can't go wrong it what kind of device is going to launch without 5g so right now everything's launching 5g so you have 5g lte wi-fi wi-fi 6e you got bluetooth 5.3 and it is ip 64 rating so it, it's not ip67 if you accidentally drop it in water it kind of scoop it up real quick it might survive and powering all that hardware it's a 5000 milliamp hour battery it has a beast of a battery so i'm hoping to get excellent battery life out of this bad boy especially paired with the snapdragon 8 gen 2 which supposedly is getting great great battery 
life on all the phones that carry that bad boy. And one thing to mention, no wireless charging. There's absolutely no wires, no wireless charging with the OnePlus 11. Now, is this gonna deteriorate you from getting it? Me personally, I absolutely love wireless charging. Uh, this is a flagship, would have loved to see it on there, but they did give you 80 watt fast charging. So maybe they didn't give you wireless charging because the amount of juice they give you to charge this bad boy and they're expecting it to last all day. That's probably why they didn't give you wireless charging. I don't know, let me know down in the comment section below if you're not gonna pick this up only because it didn't come with wireless charging. I wanna know. But the one thing about this bad boy that is not flagship is the price. It is competing directly with the Google Pixel 7 and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. The eight gigabyte version is gonna come at you at $699, and the 16 gigabyte version is gonna come at you at $799. It is absolutely price competitive to compete with the Samsungs, the iPhones, the Googles, and the rest of these other flagship devices that are out there today. What do you think about the price? Are you thinking about picking one up? Is that price gonna alleviate the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging? Are you thinking about picking up the OnePlus 11 or are you gonna go ahead and skip on this device and wait for next year? So let me shut up about all those specs. If you don't care about the specs and you just care about the experience of this device. So let me give you my quick overlook and my quick initial impressions of the Oxygen is running, which is Oxygen OS. Now, right off the back, very snappy. But one thing I do not like or found a little bit intrusive is the amount of information you have with every snap with every swipe so if i swipe right i do get the google now page right but if i swipe down i get this shelf is what they're calling shelf it almost looks like the iphone widget page which kind of reminds me of that uh so why do i need that as well so i swipe there and i swipe down is that and it's a little bit confusing because if i want to get to the quick toggles here i have to swipe directly from above to get to the quick toggles but looking at the quick toggle page you have everything you need here in order just like any other android 13 phone now the oxygen os is running on android 13 on a version of android 13 but if we go to settings here settings is very very colorful as you can see uh, i think a lot of android phones are going away from that but this is a little bit of like color os and oxygen os like if they made it and created a baby, this is what you get right here. So you do have some quick options here. So oh, haptics, experience true life haptic. You can go ahead into this option, which I kind of like because not a lot of uh, smartphones give you this option. And you can kind of set the sensitivity to the type of haptic feedback you want. Uh, if you want it a little su subtle or you want it more intense, you can set the haptic feedback sensitivity on there, which is absolutely fantastic. I like that feature on this phone. So back out of there real quick. Now you got O emoji. Basically, they're trying to get you to create your own emoji. Uh, a little bit of an iPhone thing, I'm guessing, and Samsung thing. Uh, not really into creating my own emoji, so I'm going to get out of there. And you got flexible windows. Basically, you go to your recent page, you swipe up. There's going to be a three-button uh, hamburger menu there, and you go floating windows, and then you can go ahead and have a bunch of floating windows. Let's see if it works with multiple ones. We could put that one aside, floating windows. I think you can only have one at a time, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, I just tried both of them and only one works. So you can have, if you need a window to be floating all the time, you go ahead and have that option as well. But real quick before we end this video, this is just a quick initial impression of the Oxygen OS and then the fluidity of the device. But one thing that really surprised me, caught me off guard, was go about the device here, right? And as you can see, it's gonna give you what you have, OnePlus 11 5G, uh, 256 gigabytes of storage 
and then the model Snapdragon Gen 2, screen size, battery life, all that goodness. But look what it says right here. We have 16 gigabytes of RAM plus four gigabytes. So it's an additional four, which is absolutely giving me 20 gigabytes. So if we can go click on here, I can expand that to an extra eight or I can expand it to a 12. So I can add an additional 12 gigabytes of storage here and you gotta restart the device. And then I just told them not now. But I think what it's doing is, it's partitioning some of your uh, onboard storage from the 256 and dedicating it to more RAM storage itself. So you have a 16 gigabytes of RAM and then you can partition your ROM either four, eight, or an, an additional 16 gigabytes to dedicate it itself to RAM. So this thing, I'm guessing it's gonna be an absolutely beast. I can't wait to uh, try this while gaming. Uh, I've never seen any other device done this before but it's absolutely crazy what this does. Um, I've That right there caught me off guard. I'm really, really, really interested in seeing what kind of performance we get by, let's go going 16, you know what I'm saying? Going 16, 12 more, let's go ahead and restart it. Going about 12 more gigabytes on top of the 16. So that is absolutely amazing. So what is giving us like 28, it's making it 28 gigabytes of RAM. That is absolutely crazy. So I can see you gotta restart the device. Let's go back over here real quick, go about devices here. So I got a 16 gigabytes plus an additional 12 gigabytes of RAM. That is absolutely crazy, yo. Can't wait to try that out. Back out of real quick and let me, you do got other special features here that I failed to mention, but this is a quick overview. Like I said, Split screen is not a feature, you know, that comes with any other Android device. Flexible, quick return, quick launch. Smart slider, that's the almost like the Samsung smart slider thing on the side here. Kit space, simple mode, and work-life balance. But those are just a few special features that this device has to offer. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're interested in this bad boy or are you just gonna go ahead and do a hard pass on it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.